Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And it's Sunday. And what happens on Sunday? You know, we go through the Sunday papers. We're looking at what's been written about your favorite celebrity in the Sunday papers. But before we get into that, you know what to do? Please like and subscribe to my channel. We are trying to reach a thousand subscribers. Our topic today is... All right, thank you very much, guys. Thanks, guys. That's okay. DJ Fresh and Euphonic are in hot waters after allegations of rape have been leveled against them by a young lady. She claims that the rape incident took place in 2011, somewhere in Tony at a BNB. So the Sunday World has the statement that was submitted at the police station where the lady claims that she went to this BNB with a friend uh, who was a friend of DJ Euphonic at that time. And when she got to this event, she she started drinking her hunters dry and then um, somehow she passed out and she says when she woke up in the wee hours of the morning her body was sore this is according to the statement and the two DJs started making fun of how the um, how the ladies kept on passing out and had to take them to the bedroom so she does in the statement say she does it she's not aware of what had happened but she believes a rape incident took place and she claims that one of the DJs poisoned, uh, not poisoned, drugged her. Uh, there are still allegations at this point, but the matter has been taken to the police and the police spokesperson, Mabela Masondo, confirmed to the paper that a case of rape has been opened. Now, moving on to Euphonic and DJ Fresh, they have since stepped down from their job at uh, 94.2. Uh, almost at Highfield, but at uh, Prime Media, uh, and as this allegations are unfolding and investigations are going on. So that is as much as we know about uh, the matter. Now, let's move on to Lesotho. <laughs> is in hot waters in the mountain kingdom after he failed to pitch at a cafe where he was booked to perform on the 31st of December 2020. Apparently Tebe ditched the country and took another kick somewhere else. The paper, of course being spicy, <laughs> writes that as much as Tebe is not a thing anymore in South Africa but in Lesotho he is big and that is why the organizers are so pissed because people initially did not believe oh y'all are bringing Tebe to the country and according to the paper the organizers you know they tried to explain to the crowd like yo guys this guy just cancelled and we did all we can do to bring him in the country and people did not believe them people were pissed and organizers are saying you know what our reputation has been ruined in the mountain kingdom however they have taken um uh, Abu Dibula Buti to court and uh, the owners are saying okay, Tebe is denying everything even though there's proof of payment so the Sunday paper does have proof of payment that uh, Tebe got the 10,000 deposit that he um, he charges I think and was supposed to perform in the mountain kingdom guys that's all I have for you in this week until uh, next week until next time we meet please don't forget to like and subscribe we are on our way to 1000 subscribers ian dason we can do it you and i so we meet again bye